Triple, baby! What's up guys, what's going on? Tracker Plays here. So in this video, I will teach you how you can stream in 1080p. All right guys, so uh, um, here we're gonna check out my internet speed. So for the download speed, I currently am sitting at 112 Mbps. And for my upload speed, I'm currently on 110 Mbps. So if you guys watched my previous video on how to stream with bad internet, uh, the upload speed will have a very very big re relevance in this video as well i'm gonna link it up um somewhere here over on the screen all right so um next we're gonna head over to our settings all right so uh here we go let me just close this one okay all right so here we go so in our settings here um let's go to stream uh just make sure you have your socials connected all right guys so we have my twitch my facebook and my youtube so guys be sure to hit a follow subscribe um drop a sub <laughs> over on my socials all right follow me on twitch on my instagram as well all right so getting back on my stream on the stream settings sorry um i can't change right now because i'm currently recording using streamlabs but you have to go over to um, output and then on your output change the mode to advanced all right so this is where we're going to get our full control of our stream settings all right so Number one, um, encoder should always be on hardware NVENC new. Now, there is a second NVENC which doesn't have the new um, next to it. So the difference is the one without the new is for um, graphics processing unit or video cards that are currently on uh, GTX 1000 series like the GTX um, 1060, the GTX 1070, and the GTX 1080. Now, for the NVENC new, this is recommended for video cards who uh, or is currently at the RTX level. So we have our RTX 2060, 2070, um, RTX 26, uh, 2080 Super as well. Um, me, I'm currently running a 2080 Super. So I'm going to go with uh, NVENC Neo, all right? So your rate control, you would always be choosing the CBR or CBR means constant bitrate. All right. Now, the bitrate that you have to encode would match the one on your upload speed. So if we go back to our upload speed, I'm currently sitting at 110, right? So this is actually what you need to do. You have to multiply that by a, th uh, by a thousand. So 110 divided by a thousand would equal to around 110,000 bitrate, right? But the thing is, Facebook and Twitch has a max capacity for your bitrate. It controls the bitrate because if we, if we go further, um, it might not coincide with the bitrate with Twitch and Facebook. So they set a limit. So the limit for Facebook is around 6,500 bitrate. And Twitch's uh, limit on bitrate is around 8,500. So um, yeah, so you have to go to either 8,500 or 6,000. Me, I would choose to go 6,000 since it is actually um, the bit rate that you would need to run 1080p. Actually, the range would go from 4,500 to 6,000. So that's the best bit rate you can get. Um, try not to go over 6,000. Uh, it might cause some problems, all right? So the next is the keyframe interval. Um, it should be kept at two. The max uh, or the preset should be at max quality. Profile should be high. The GPU is at zero. All right. And the max B frames or is, it's the bilinear frames should be set as two. Okay. Make sure to check this box that says psycho visual tuning. Your GPU would tune visual problems. All right. So, so um, like screen tearing or something or screen syncing with the games, it helps, all right? It helps, guys, all right? Next, we're gonna go to video. All right, so your base canvas resolution would be the resolution of your monitor. So that should be 1080p, 1920 by 1080p. All right, next is your output scaled resolution. So this is your output stream, all right? This will now give you the ability to stream on 1080p. So therefore, you have to set it on 1920 by 1080p to get a 1080p resolution all right some people would go for 4k but 
it will really take like a lot of you know internet usage so 1080p would be fine all right next is your downscale filter so you should choose this one here that says lag zones sharpened scaling by 32 samples all right next is the fps type always choose common fps value and for your common fps value should be at 60 so you can get that smooth 60 fps while streaming all right guys next we go to advanced now this i can actually change so process priority should just be above normal some set it to high but for me just to be safe um since i mean my internet is uh, very fast but the processing power would also be dependent on the specs of your computer as well so um i currently have a um like a high-end pc but i would not really you know um not really try to risk it so i just have to go with above normal as process priority all right color format should always be and on rgb the yv color space at 709 and the yv color range should be full not partial okay full all right here we go and make sure to check this box this is force gpu the render device so remember back in uh, our uh, output so this will this thing here or this setting right here will actually be using your gpu or your video card so that's why you have to check this box so that your rendering will come from your gpu if your gpu is stronger all right or you know the fastest one there is all right um i guess that's pretty much about it for stream delay set it to 20 though the ideal i think would have to be 5 to 10 if you're just playing like a regular game but if you're playing competitively uh, to avoid stream sniping i would suggest go 30 seconds to a minute all right um all right last one we have to go to this one here make sure this box is checked okay do not back up my media files and the cloud so the thing is if you have this unchecked this will actually back up your files over in the streamlabs cloud meaning it will take internet usage so we would not um, we would not want that all right we would like to have a smoother and a faster internet as much as possible so make sure to check this box all right guys so that's pretty much about it and uh this will actually help you stream in the best 1080p settings up to date all right so today is around what august 16 um upon making this video and i guarantee you guys will be streaming in a smooth 1080p all right guys so uh, if you have any more comments suggestions please let me know down on the comments below and uh, also drop your twitch your twitch page guys all right uh, i might drop you a follow maybe drop you a sub as well you know just a little bit or drop you some bits <laughs> all right so i'm just trying to help out all right guys so uh thank you very much for watching and this video helped you in any way don't forget to leave a like share the video subscribe to my youtube channel and uh, hit that notification bell to get future updates all right so once again this has been your boy dracker place i'll see you in the next video guys peace out and this is <laughs> bye guys <laughs>